This is John Buff, Super Chemist. Nice, easy video. It's just a how to get video, so I'm not really doing anything. The product either comes pure or you just recrystallize it or distill it out. Uh, in this case, it's ammonium sulfate. You can see the name of this is High Yield, right? High Yield Ammonium Sulfate. I just got it at like uh, Lowe's. $4.99 for this big giant bag. I mean, not to this giant, but here's my hand. Uh, I looked up the MSDS. The only MSDS I could find was from 2003. It says it's 100% ammonium sulfate. But let's check this out. So I got some crystals here. Uh, jumped out the bag. Let me see if I can get close up here. See that? See how it's like brown? You can see like right here it's got a dark spot. You know? Now look at this. Look how white. Look how nice. Here yeah, I got some crystals by itself. See the nice crystals? See how nice and white? Compare the two. Look how brown it looks in the background here. This. All I did, right, there's probably sulfur and other crap in there. So all I did, right, I put that in water. I dissolved as much as I could. You know, what I couldn't dissolve, I filtered. Right, so now I have a nice clear liquid. It was probably brown. But, uh, and then I put it in a long big pan. Like this. You know, you get a long pan, it's... And you put it in there so it has a lot of surface area. And then you just evaporate it off. Let it, let it evaporate. Put it in the oven at maybe 120 Fahrenheit. You know, not too hot. Because I think this decomposes and makes ammonia if you heat it up too much. So you want to just uh, let it naturally dry. Or, or, you know, put it on your radiator if you have a water forced furnace. Or put it in the oven maybe at, you know, a low temperature. Don't put it at like 300 not my guy. Um, let it evaporate off, and when you have a little bit of liquid left, filter it and wash it with some water, and you'll have nice white, uh, beautiful crystals like this, nice and sparkly. And that's all I did. You know what I mean? Uh, and there's a batch of it right here. It's a green bottle, so it might not look too white, but it's totally white. Totally nice. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Look what I found. I found my 500 milliliter graduated cylinder. So now I have the complete set from 10 milliliters up to 1 liter. Now I wanted you to check out this next experiment I'm doing. Uh, that's the whole reason I'm making calcium chloride and ammonium sulfate is so that I can do this next reaction. To me, it's a somewhat important reaction uh, on learning how to make salts in a different way. And uh, so, if you're interested in this video, you'll definitely be interested in the one on where I make calcium sulfate. Because that is an important reaction because I'm not just making calcium sulfate. I'm also making ammonium chloride. And you can choose what you want to make. You can make calcium sulfate in any binary salt this way. And so remember to have a great day. And always remember science is great.